Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a full review and what fits of the Gucci Half Moon mini bag and I did do an unboxing of this on my channel a few weeks back. I will link that in the description box below if you haven't seen that video already. But if you're new here, welcome. My name is Alyssa and I have a blog called The Gals Guide and I come on here and I review my luxury and contemporary handbags. So if you love handbags as much as I do, you should definitely consider subscribing down below Below. hit that little red button I would love to have you join this little community with me here and to my current subscribers thank you so much for being here I'm truly grateful for you and I genuinely just love chatting with you in the comments down below so that being said let's get into the video so I do have the bag right here this is the little Gucci half moon mini bag and this is in the beige and cream Ophidia canvas and it's absolutely stunning. I love the colorway. The back is the same and then on the front this front pocket is actually a pocket. I just have the cards in there and then it does have this really beautiful champagne gold chain and this is removable. You just would slide that little bar out on each side but it is not adjustable. And then to open the bag up, you do have this great zipper on top. You do kind of have to stretch it a little bit to get in here, but it is like a nude suede interior and it does have a card holder back there. So I am gonna do a what fits in this bag and I'm gonna do some more mod shots and gonna show you how I've been loving wearing this bag. I really love that you have so much versatility to wear it as a top handle or a crossbody. You can also fit it on the shoulder. I don't wear it on the shoulder as much but it's actually better than I thought it was it's actually a little bit more comfortable than I originally thought this actually kind of works and it is a little bit high up under the shoulder I prefer a little bit more room like under my armpit but you definitely can fit this like this works if you wanted to wear this as a shoulder bag you absolutely could I really like wearing this crossbody or as a, like a long shoulder bag or I wear this on the crook of my arm predominantly but so far I've really just been loving this because it goes with so many of my outfits it's so neutral and the canvas is so durable like I can't tell you how great this canvas feels it's very like it's very kind of hard and structured but still breathable where it's not ridiculously stiff if that makes sense and then the leather on the top here is really beautiful I wanted to show you this is adjustable I do have it on the longest length to wear it on the shoulder I just don't think it's feasible to go any lower but when I do wear it crossbody you can lower it and it doesn't look so high up on the body I am five foot two. I will actually start with the mod shots and just kind of show you what this looks like styled on me. So I've been wearing this crossbody whenever I've been going out grocery shopping and I just think it really works. It really hangs at a nice length. Now, if you were taller, this may be a little bit awkward and high up on you depending on like your torso length, but I actually think it really works for me. And then as a long shoulder bag, I think this is really cute too. It just kind of hangs at such a nice little length and it really looks like a little moon kind of hanging which I really like and then if you wear it just with the top handle and you put it on the crook of your arm this is what that looks like and I just really love that and then one more time to show you what it looks like as a shoulder bag to kind of give you the full picture this is what that looks like it's just a bit high up but it still works so now I'm going to show you what I've been carrying in this bag. I've been using this as kind of my everyday bag and it's been really nice to go from day to night with this. I've actually worn it to work a few times which it's actually really convenient because it fits quite a bit and everything stays in place because it's a really structured shape. The only thing about this is you do kind of have to play around with the way that you put things in. So starting with the biggest items and working into the smallest because that's the best way to get everything to fit. So first I will show you that my phone does fit. I have the iPhone 14 Pro. It does fit in here so you can see. I could definitely fit more in here with it. You can see my phone back here. I know it's like kind of hard to see but I'm actually going to take it out for the sake of the video because I actually don't carry my phone in the bag. I'll show you what I actually have been carrying but I wanted to give you that reference. If you have a Max phone that would definitely fit in here as well. So I'm actually going to start with like a little pouch that I got on Amazon. I've been carrying my cosmetics in here. So I have my Dior lip oil and then I also have my 
Dior Lip Maximizing Gloss in there. And then I also have my house keys. And then I have a Glossier lip gloss in there too. So three very glossy glosses. So I will show you that this fits in here. And I do have to put that in first for everything else to fit. But it does fit in there. And then I'm also going to put in my Louis Vuitton key pouch. So I use this as my wallet. And then I'm also going to put in a third small leather good, which is my Alexander McQueen card holder. And I just put my gift cards in there. So I will show you. Right now I have those three items in there. And that's what that looks like. So I definitely have some more room on each side and on the top. I'm gonna put in my hand cream. This is from Bath & Body Works. So I'm gonna lay that on top. And then I'm also gonna put in a NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I will also put that on top. And then I'm gonna put in one lipstick. This is from Physicians Formula. And it's just a basic nude. But that's really all that I would carry. And then I also put my key fob in the side here, but I don't have it with me right now. So that's everything that I would fit. So three small leather goods, a little pair of keys, and two more cosmetics. And it does zipper. So it's a very strong zipper, which I really, really like. And the structure of the bag does not like morph when you put more stuff into it. So it doesn't change its shape at all. So everything is still perfectly structured, which I really, really like. So overall, I would say this is a really great everyday bag, but it's also really trendy. The moon-shaped bags are really hot this year in 2023 when I'm recording this. There are a bunch of different designers that have different variations of this one. I just really like the fact that it came with a chain so that I could also wear it as a crossbody. I really value a bag that can be versatile. I would also say this is affordable compared to some of the other moon bags. For example, this is less expensive than the Celine like Triumph little shoulder bag. I'm not sure exactly what that one's called but there are a bunch of different similar ones out there and I just think that this one's so neutral and classic and really kind of brings that same heritage of Gucci which I think is really really nice so overall I've been loving this bag I'm so glad that I got it but if you have any questions on this bag I would love to answer those for you in the comments down below that is going to conclude this video thank you so much for watching if you're still here with me if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more handbag reviews. Thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.